We are going to see how to create a class using Moo, the object-oriented system of Perl. In order to, to show this example, we need two files. One of them is a script, which has the standard pre Perl preamble at the beginning, and it loads the person module. The other one is actually the person module that has at the beginning the namespace declaration, package person, and the true value at the end. It doesn't have use strict and use warnings because we are going to use Moo. And use Moo already declares that use strict and use warnings in a, is in, are in effect in this file. The main thing that Moo does here is that it provides a constructor. So now we can go back to the script and create an uh, object. Let's say this is a student and it gets the result of the call of the constructor. It already, the use move already added a new constructor. Now we have this student object, but it doesn't have any attributes. So let's go back to our class and tell that a person has a name. And that name is going to be read only. Once we added this line of code, we can go back to our script and in the constructor we can pass the name attribute and the value foo. Not only that, but we can also use the name accessor to fetch this value and then we can go back to the line and print it out. That's it. Now we can go to the con command line and run the school script and it will print out foo, the name of the person. What happens if we want to change the name? So we copy this line, actually the say part we don't need, and set the value of name to bar. And then, just so we see it, we can print it out again. Now if you run the code, it will print out foo, but then it will throw an exception. Moves through an exception and it told us that this method only accepts one value, which is the self. Now we don't want to go in uh, uh, to the details, but basically when you call a method on an object, Perl automatically passes the object as the first parameter. So now in this uh, call we had two parameters, the object itself and the bar value. And that's where the error message came from. The reason it threw an exception is because in the declaration we said that this attribute is read-only. So if we change that to be readable and writable, save the file, and go back to the console to run the script, it will already print out foo and bar because now you can actually change that attribute. 